Okay guys, so I've been wanting to start making some of these videos again and I've recently had a few sort of changes in my life and I've also come across a load of interesting new gear so perfect excuse to start making a couple of videos again. Okay, so I'll explain a little bit about what you're seeing in the background. This gear is all X industrial instrumentation and it's all to do with measuring audio levels, sound pressure levels, that sort of thing. There is a precision temperature source, there's a couple of precision bench power supplies. There is a device known as a ductor for measuring extremely low resistances on switch contacts, on high potential switch contacts. There, there is all kinds of gear and basically the company that had all this stuff uh, has basically gotten rid of it all and I've managed to score it all for free. So how, how come this has happened? Well basically all, all of this stuff is early 1990s gear. Uh, it's all either very late 1980s or early 1990s and it's pretty evident from all the uh, calibration stickers that it's some of it's been calibrated fairly recently but this gear has just not been in use and the company has long since replaced all of this stuff for newer gear and they just don't need this stuff anymore so that's how I've managed to come across it just lucky that's all okay so that's what you're seeing in the background and what I intend to do is a video of each item, what it's for, how it's used and how it could be put to use. And in the future you'll see me pull this stuff out and I'll use it in some of the videos to you know, demonstrate that something is what it says it is or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bench power supplies there uh, which are fairly decent bits of kit made by a company called Thandar. And I've actually got already got a, a Thandar bench power supply and uh, th they are very good bits of kit and one of them is uh, 110 volt input which uh, I need to convert to 240. There's another one there that's got a, a Variac built into it. There's a couple of uh, frequency counters. Look we've got a, a clamp meter and there's there's really there's all sorts of gear. So I want to do some individual videos of each bit of kit. It's all utterly filthy, so just a video of uh, cleaning it up, firing it up for the first time, uh, powering this gear up and checking that it works, and then possibly calibrating it. Some of it needs minor repairs. There's some knobs have been knocked off the front panel of the bench power supply. Um, uh, what else was the? Yeah, there were some battery terminals have been damaged by leaking batteries, which isn't good, so they need some attention. We'll have a look at that. There's some textbooks there also. They're, they're like catalogues. They they are selling gear, but there's loads of technical uh, reference information in there to do with pressure, strain, you know, the weight of things. This sort of this sort of uh, subject. So it's just uh, really good reference guides. So I'll I'll just make some videos going through all this gear. Really, changes in my life. I was working for a company designing products, and they went insolvent basically they they all of a sudden just stopped trading and that was it they closed the doors and me and everybody else was out of a job well what I've decided to do is start designing my own products and re releasing them myself and and sort of standing on my own two feet we will see what happens with that maybe I will incorporate some of that into my YouTube videos I'm not sure whether or not to keep it separate from you know keep the professional and private side sort of separate we'll have to see. So that's it in a nutshell really. I've got some new radio gear and also I've got some existing radio gear that I've, I've used in a different way and there's also some things that I intend to do in the future so I'd like to cover some of that in the YouTube videos. Also I've, I've got some new camera gear and uh, I, d I don't know if you, you remember any of the, I mean if you go and look at some of my older YouTube videos you'll see how grainy they were, they were done with low resolution you know webcams and stuff like that all pretty terrible to be honest well this camera gear that I've got now will all do fairly decent high definition 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a play with a few different aspect ratios and different cameras and different ISO settings and different lighting levels and all sorts. Um, I'm going to play with different microphones, I'm going to play with different sound sources, you'll see what I mean, it's all going to be rolled into the videos. So I'll try and keep it as short as possible, that's it for now. Um, I'll put some links up to the uh, website which I've been working on and uh, I'll see you in the, the upcoming videos and we'll see what we can make of all this uh, gear. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.